Hello. Welcome to the stream. How's it going, everybody? Happy Sunday. Oh, welcome, everybody. <laughs> oh, very excited to be here. Very excited for this lovely session of video gaming on this fine weekend. Welcome, everybody. How's it going? Tefla, good to see you. SGBU, welcome. Zetsubera. Yeah. <laughs> Flesh Eaters, my friend. I gotta incorporate more Flesh Eater themed elements to my stream somehow. I gotta work on this. <laughs> Dana, good to see you. Schubert, Rubber Kitty, welcome. Cactus B. How's it going, everybody? We're gonna play more video games today. It may come as a shock. We're gonna play more. Today, as the title may imply, it doesn't even imply, it directly states we're going to play the last half of darkness. There it is. The last half of darkness. More DOS shareware adventure games. I've never played these. I take that back. I've played this first game for a little bit. I never finished it. Played this first game for a little bit. I've watched a stream of this first game for a little bit. That's it. It's mysterious. It's wonderful. It's exciting. It's spooky. Horror themed video gaming. Oh, I'm very excited to play these games. So, last half of darkness. Where's the first half? I don't know. I don't know. Where's the first half? Last Half of Darkness has three games in the original trilogy, and then there's a remake of the first game, and then there's another four games <laughs> that continue on from the original trilogy. So there's like seven distinct games in the Last Half of Darkness, plus a remake of the original. <laughs> I might have missed one, too. <laughs> it's a lot of halves. Yeah, it's a lot of halves. <laughs> Dino, welcome. Alana Ray, good to see you. Kagarado, welcome. We're gonna the plan for today is to play, and this may be a bad idea, this may be too much game. Maybe too much game to handle, but the plan for today is to play the first three. The original trilogy of Last Half of Darkness. We got Last Half of Darkness, 1990, Soft Lab Software Laboratories. Last Half of Darkness 2, and these first two games are very similar, like they have the very same, uh, they use the same engine, the same user interface, and then Last Half of Darkness 3 greatly expands upon it and has a brand new interface, cool new graphics, it just looks incredible. This is like the perfect game for me, I don't know how I haven't played them yet. These are... Indie, shareware, horror, adventure games. Made by one dude. <laughs> one dude did it all. It looks very cool, spooky aesthetic. Yeah, these are hugely inspirational to Disaster Squad and the Cursed trilogy of games. Like, he directly cited these games as one of his main inspirations. Last Half of Darkness and, like, deja vu uninvited which these games were also inspired by uninvited deja vu and you'll see when we get into them how the interface looks it's very reminiscent of the old mac venture point and clicks i'm excited to play this i'm excited <laughs> g welcome oh dinner dinner it's too early for dinner Yeah, we're going to play Last Half of Darkness. Uh, I don't really have much else to say. I want to play a game. We're going to try and play all three. All three in the original trilogy. <laughs> all three of the original trilogy of Last Half of Darkness. And then later on down the line, we'll play The Romantic Blue, which supposedly is set in the Last Half of Darkness expanded universe. And then we'll play the remake to Last Half of Darkness. And then we can play the later four more modern games <laughs> so many games so many games so many games so very many game so very many game i need to replay cursed 3 man that was such a fun game i gotta replay cursed 3 
Um, I think Bo the Schmo found the missing friend that I didn't find when I when I played it and streamed it. The missing buddy. I don't remember. I remember where he told me that was. I'm not going to spoil it. I don't remember where the other weapon was. I think he mentioned it, but I don't recall. I don't know if there is an ammo pouch for the, the machine gun. Mysteries, mysteries. Do the slide puzzle. Oh, maybe there's slide puzzles in this. Oh, I'm excited. Let's play the game. 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 There it is. Game. The full amount of darkness. It's going to be a lot of darkness. All right, so we have here, look at this, all set up, ready to go. L1, L half, L half two, L half three. Many halves of darkness. Um, so the first game, the original game, Last Half of Darkness, has a basic game. There's like the original version, then it got like a, a re-release. <laughs> Which is the same game as far as I can tell, just with like a bit more graphic border. But Last Half of Darkness 2 uses that same remade interface. So we're going to play the original version of the first game. And then do Last Half of Darkness 2 with like the more spruced up fancy border. So we go to L1. Oh, look at all these files. Look at all these files. What, what do I type? uh dot exe not eve exe oh last half not last half we must type last half not last half <laughs> slide puzzles you know i i practice slide puzzles not offline mind you i've done enough slide puzzles on stream i kind of want to test my metal against some more powerful ones it's a fun little puzzle fun little exercise <laughs> let's let's play the game. The last half. Welcome to Soft Labs. The last half of darkness. This version is distributed as shareware. If you enjoy this product, please register by sending check or money order for twenty dollars to Soft Lab. All those who register will receive a hint booklet and a completely packaged copy of the last half of darkness. Two two discs of horrifying adventure. There's a home address if you want to send him a letter. Although this game is an entire adventure, it is not the entire story. To receive the end of the story, Last Half of Darkness 2, please register. <sighs> Music to the ears. <clears throat> Music to the ears. Uh, title screen says 1990s. Let's change that. Here at Jenny, welcome. Um, I couldn't figure out how to get the Kovac speech thing to work in DOSBox. And I think that was only included in the, the re-release, not in the original version of Last Half of Darkness. So we're not going to be using the Kovac speech thing. I, I, ta I tampered with it for a little bit and tried to get it working, but I failed. <laughs> so... We're just going to do PC speaker. Press any key to begin. Start the timer. The moonlight of a full moon illuminates the front of this ghostly house once owned by your great aunt. A strong breeze causes the trees to put to brush against the sides of the house, making strange sounds. There is a light on in the attic. Better check it out. Here we go. Gaming in silence, and this is what we're talking about here. This is peak video gaming. So you can tell right away by the interface, it's heavily inspired by Mac Venture, Adventure Games, Shadowgate, Deja Vu, etc. Got your inventory, the exits, the exits, and the little viewfinder here. And then just complete blackness. It's point and click, so we get to use the mouse, which is nice. So use the F keys to determine your commands. The house is in major need of some repairs. The sign looks as though it's been there for a very long time. 
Oh, we can't look at the moon. What a scary tree. So F1 for examine, F2 to go, open, close, hit. Nothing was damaged. Let's start hitting things. We can hit things. Take, speak, enter. Oh, you enter your sentence. Hello. Your words go on unnoticed. Unnoticed. We can operate things. Save. Start. Load and quit. Oh, this is going to be a good adventure. Oh, I'm excited. I'm very excited to play this. This is... Like, look at the graphics. I really like this art style. Very simplistic with the color palettes. Very deep blue. Lots of good dithering here. The light on to draw your attention to specific parts of the picture. I really like this so far. I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan. Big fan. Let's, let's go in the house. Memories of your aunt haunt you as you stand on this weather-beaten, creepy old porch. Thoughts of her rocking in her rocking chair fill your head. As you can almost hear the sounds of the porch creak with each rock. Hey, Dragoon Zero. <laughs> we all missed the first half of Darkness. Yeah, I hate to break it to you. <laughs> we may never know what happened to the first half of Darkness. Maybe that's part of the plot. We'll find out. So again, my, I'm planning on playing all three games in the original trilogy just in a row. Boom, boom, boom. Big gaming. Big gaming action. I don't know how long these games are. I'm guessing they're fairly short. I don't know. It's a big mystery. I try not to look up too much about games before I go into them. Uh, look. Let's examine things. The torch is unlit. Very old. Windows covered with cobwebs and dust. Dust so thick you couldn't scrape it off with a knife. Better not grab on too tight. It looks as though this rail could turn to dust. Look at the door, made of strong oak wood. The knob has tarnished through the years of use. Ah, uh, does this game inspire Elden Ring? The tarnished. Um, can we examine the different exits? Oh, you just go. Okay, you don't have to select go to click on the exits. You just simply click and go. Good. Um, hit. Start hitting things. Hit the window. Hit the door. Hit that. Hit that. Hit that. Hit that. Take the candle. I don't know how much pixel hunting there's going to be. Maybe a lot. Maybe a little. Operate the door. Operate the candle. Operate the window. Speak to the door. Open door. Your words go on unnoticed. <laughs> 18 kills, welcome. Abs, welcome. Oh, nice. You had this as a kid. I've never played these before. I'm really excited to play them. Let's go in. Oh, look at this artwork, dude. This is so cool. Dust fills this hall. The sheets once used to protect dust from ruining the furniture now need protection themselves. Old paintings and antique fixtures decorate the hall with a grand staircase leading up to darkness. Look around. Look at everything. Old time grandfather clock. Too bad it doesn't keep time anymore. Rembrandt definitely <laughs> didn't paint this one. The brush strokes are sloppy. There's no depth and the colors clash. A complete waste of paint. Hey, Cello, welcome. <laughs> VGA version. Uh, this is... Most definitely not VGA. This is... EGA graphics, I'm, I'm assuming. I, I, I don't know the technical... This rug was probably knitted by your aunt herself. This game does have a re-release, which is marked as the VGA version. It has got like a fancy border around it. And I didn't look anything more than that to see what the differences were. 
picture of a friend of your aunt's. Um, old sheet. Can we take the sheet? Can we take anything? Can't take that. Can't take that. Can't take that. Can we operate the sheet? Operate the clock? So far, I've done nothing but look and go. Can we hit? Start smashing stuff. No hitting. No hitting allowed. Take. Alright, alright. Open the clock. Open the clock. Nope. Okay, um, so we can go up the stairs or to the left. Looks like we can't go to the right. Oh, it's a window, of course. Look out the window. You notice a storm approaching through the open window. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought too. There's this version, then the VGA version, which has got the little border around the interface. And then there's like a complete remake as well. I do want to play the remake. But we got to play these first. Let's go left. Dude, this is cool. Like, you can see the chair underneath the sheet. How do they do such cool graphics with so few pixels? The swords. The little emblem there. I should get emblems for my house. I need an emblem in this room. I should put, like, an emblem back there. Get an emblem. I think emblems are sorely underused these days in decoration. The decor in this haunting hall depicts a style from the 15th century. Its walls are covered with plaques and paintings from times un uncounted by anyone but your late aunt. Her presence lies within these walls of decor as memories haunt your mind from times long ago. Look at the emblem. This flag looks like it's from the 16th century. Well, make up your mind. 15th? 16th. Picture of your aunt took while vacationing in Hawaii. Cool. I've never been to Hawaii. I want to go. Unused fireplace. <laughs> Just another fish your uncle caught. Old war relics from the World War II. Portrait of someone you don't know. Can we take the sword? Give me sword. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Take the fish. Take the sheet. Take the fireplace. Take the painting. Take the flag. Hit. Operate the sword. Again, I've done nothing so far but go and look. Uh, so let's keep going. Three exits here. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. So this goes into the kitchen. I cannot look at where this door on the left goes. And there's a door behind me. Okay, that's back where I came from. So where does this go on the left? The room of war. <laughs> Dude, the room of war. Who has a room of war in their house? This room contains relics dating back to the 18th century. Your uncle was a collector of fine war weapons. Portrait of a wizard practicing his skills. Shield depicts a symbolic lion. Spear belonged to a Mojave tribe. Only a quality craftsman could have forged steel this strong. Its handle is made from solid gold. Solid good, solid gold handled sword. Take. Securely fastened. Oh. Just, just pick it up. Hmm. Uh, let's smack it. Picture of a wizard. Operate the picture of a wizard. No? Oh, open the picture of a wizard. Still nothing to do. Nothing to grab, nothing to, nothing to take. So into the dining room. So this is probably back where I came from, yep. So it looks like when you enter a room, 
Oh dear, oh dear. We're, we're getting ahead of ourselves here. When you enter a room, you stand with your back to the door you came in from and you're looking into it. So you can't think of these directions as like north, south, east, west. It's all relative to our character. Like when we enter the one behind us and the bottom of this little exit box is behind back where we came from. So I go left into this door and then backwards is this where I came from, forwards in here. I go left into this door, then backwards is where I came from. Okay, okay, okay. I think I understand how this is working. Let's go left again to the hallway. So we've gone like in three lefts. Large vase stands here before a magnificent antique mirror. Its reflection gives an eerie ambience throughout the hall. Cool. Mirror gives a reflection of the dried sticks. Some dried sticks. The table is a priceless antique. The doorway leads into darkness, into the trophy room. Take sticks. Hit vase. Hit mirror. Hit table. Operate the vase. Operate the mirror. Open mirror. Oh, just nothingness, just nothingness. So backwards should go back where I was. We can't turn left anymore. A hallway. This hall presents you with three choices into the unknown. Two of which contain solid oak wood doors. It's here that the strongest of the prevailing presence of your late aunt surrounds your senses. The hinges are tarnished infested with termites okay let's smack this door <clears throat> open open into the study into darkness small nursery dude this is a huge house and i have found nothing that's back where i was so this is the room this random hallway this may be important the strongest of the prevailing presence of my late aunt is in this room so we have to perform like a seance later or somehow communicate with the ghost of our aunt we might have to come back to this room to do so uh let's go left i'm just kind of wandering what it was in this room 100 years ago tonight that your two great 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 grand cousins were murdered by a vampire some still believe that their presence still exists in this very room What? Uh, okay, um, patty cake. It appears these nice little girls are playing a game of patty cake. Uh, they're ghosts, sir, sir. Painting of a rose lies within the center of this gold frame. Hard to make out. Oh, wizard. Why are there pictures of wizards everywhere? <laughs> wizards. Don't decorate your house with wizard paintings. It's, it's weird. Tango Bunny, welcome. Yeah, tons of sequels, I know. The last half of Darkness is like split into seven distinct games, I think. <laughs> There's a lot of them. It, it, I might need to slow this down a little bit. I'm running it at 2,000 CPU cycles. If we slow it down to one cycle, uh, I have it set. Okay, we'll, go, we'll do 1,000. This seems a little bit better. Save. Girls. Good old room of girl. Hit the girls. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Little girls are angered by the presence of an adult. One girl jumps at you with a sharp dagger, begins to stab continuously until the blood is drained from your body. Would you like to play again? Well, don't go around hitting little ghost girls. <laughs> we learned a lesson today. <laughs> okay. Dude, this, this owns. This owns. Play again. Load. Girls. Hello, girls. Speak. Hello. 
The little girls ignore your words and continue in their games. <laughs> it's girls. They're ghosts. They're obviously ghosts. Oh, yeah, we gotta find the hammer. Good call. Good call. And then we can smash them properly. Uh, uh, examine, what's over here? A closet. Let's just go into the closet. Oh! Okay. Girls. Can we leave the room? Oh, we're, we're, we're stuck. We're dead. This artwork, this rules. The gigantic bow, the vampire fangs, little hand, not fully grasping, not fully gripping the dagger, just like kind of like the dagger's resting on the palm and the fingers are just kind of laying on top. It's kind of just sitting there delicately, like, 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 like that. I feel like it would fall out if she tried to stab me, but it's ghost, ghost physics, magical glue. Play again. We're soft locked. <laughs> okay, we lose literally zero progress because I have made no progress yet, but we've learned where the girls are. Open door, go in. Interesting that perspective is not entirely fixed like i thought like we go to the top left of the room go off to walk up to the porch now we have to go right to go back where we were okay so it's not always the case that where you came from is the bottom of the little exit screen not always the case let's go this way the kitchen the style in this kitchen is one of great mystery it contains no stove or refrigerator making it a mystery and how your aunt became a gourmet cook. Indeed a mystery. Examine. The sink is filled with dust and cobwebs. The faucet knob is labeled cold. There are millions of tiny cuts and scrapes engraved on the table's surface. That's kind of bizarre. I like the little wallpaper here. That's nice. Fixture from centuries ago. Some real quality made cabinetry. Although the hinges look a little rusty. Everything's rusty and tarnished. Back to the dining room. Can we open these? Oh, key. Key, key, key. Key, key, key. Solid gold key. Take. Money? I got a dollar? I got a key and a dollar? Money? What? Money? Money? What? Okay. Got a little money. I wonder if that's our score. We have one point. Oh, very mysterious. Oh, cursor is locked on... The key. I hope that's not too important. That's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Nothing to worry about. Close the cabinet. Um, let's go right. <laughs> what the? Cobwebs cover the shelves of this dust-bearing pantry. Its walls bare of wallpaper and its ceiling stained with dried water from the upstairs bathroom. The old tattered door is stuck, allowing the musty smell to escape to the prevailing air. Is your mind playing tricks on you? Or are those matches haunted? Take. <clears throat> you got it. Cobwebs, okay. 
Can we examine the matchbox? It's closed. Can we open the matchbox? It's open. You can't open it, but we opened it. We take match from the matchbox? Okay, we got some haunted matches. <laughs> I hope we don't just explode. We might be dead because I took the matchbox. This is one of those games. You might be dead because we took the matchbox. Close. Which is, which is good. I don't mind. It's fun. It's exciting. <clears throat> Can we operate that? Nothing happened when you used the match on that. Okay, let's go this way. Whoa! They have a suit of armor in their dining room? I want a suit of armor. Oh my god, so cool. I want a suit of armor. It might be, yeah. Uh, that was a common problem with the third game when I was getting that one set up. Is every click would register like 17 times. So I might have to like use the keyboard. Yeah, yep, yep. If I use the space bar, then that'll just register once. Or I can do a really soft click. See, I'm just holding the mouse button down. Even at 1001 cycles. It's very easy to accidentally double click. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. I do welcome the last Alf of Darkness. <laughs> this game is super cool so far. Look at this suit of armor. A middle age knight statue decors the dining room. Shiny serving platter covers the only is the only that separates you from what might be food. Take the food. Secured to the table. Take the armor. Yeah, it's, it's definitely rapid-firing my clicks. Uh, look at the emblems. Flags give a festive touch to this room. View the cemetery through the window. Open. What the? That was... That was a ghost. We got jump-scared. Excuse me. The ghost just evaporated into the ceiling. Uh, we might be dead. We might be soft locked. <laughs> we might be soft locked now. Uh, go to. There's just a hole in the table now. Hit the hole in the table. Hit the suit of armor. Hit the flag. Operate. Operate the suit of armor, operate the flag, operate the chair. Speak. Ghost, be gone from this foul home. Your words go on unnoticed. Okay, we well, tried. Tried to command the ghost to leave. Well, we might be soft locked, so let's just move on. Okay, that's back here. Let me get my bearings a little bit. You let's operate matches on the fireplace. Oh. A nice cozy little fireplace. Hell, hell, welcome, welcome. We're sitting by the fireplace here in last half of darkness, trying to avoid soft locks and jump scares. This is a nice little cozy room. I don't know what that did, but that that we lit the fire. We can burn something. Hit the fire. Take the fire. No. Nope. Okay, so if we go here, Ooh, I haven't been in this room. This is a room called room. We're in, we are in the room room. 
<laughs> this room is filled with stuffed animals located on the walls and on the floor. All these animals were the trophies collected by your late uncle. Lots of cool stuff to look at. He didn't have a chance. Nothing fishy here. Yeah, a shark. Your aunt loved that cat. This award was given to your late uncle for the most safety conscience rifle man in the entire Rifleman's Association. Too bad he accidentally shot himself. <laughs> Picture of your uncle holding up a big fish. Your uncle sure was proud of this baby. He used to tell stories about this one all night long. The bear rug. Didn't have a chance. What's this? Sure is a strange place for a dropper. I get the feeling that anything with color is something that I need to just take. There we go. We got it. An empty dropper, a little pipette, yes. A little pipette. Uh, let's close the door. There may be secrets. You can't close the door, okay. Solid oak is too heavy. Uh, let's save room. It's not telling me the names of my save games. Let's see, path in the distance. I have to remember room is this save game. We might be soft locked in this save. It's very possible. Let's back up. Oh, no, 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 no. Things are fine. Or maybe they're not. The ghost did not respawn, but the platter did. Oh, dear, this is spooky. Can we operate the sink? Can we operate... The dropper on the sink <laughs> we just got a full pitcher of water and we just filled up this entire little watering can of water via the pipette we took we filled that up with like one milliliter of water and dropped it in there and spent the last 45 hours filling up this pitcher of water with this pipette that must be it's the only explanation It's the only explanation for what just occurred. Okay, turn this off. It won't shut off! No! Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Uh, let's put some paper towels in the sink. Become the wet bandits. Let's throw on. We still have one dollar. Like, this isn't going up. Very mysterious. <laughs> Very mysterious. Okay. I, I'm very confused navigating this house. It's extremely un. I'm getting scared. Okay, um, this way. That's the ghost girls. Uh, where do these go? Study, darkness, uh, save. Uh, scared. I'm gonna forget these save game names. Let's go into the study. What? Look at this, look at this. Oh, this game is so cool. This study is filled with books dating back to the 11th century. Each book, once printed on clean white paper, now covered with dust and layered in cobwebs. Most pages so worn, you can barely make out the words. On a table lies a skull with a lit candle inside it, providing a light in which to read by. The, the Spoo Book. Immediately look at the Spoo book. Mostly ghost stories. 
Music book. This bookcase is empty. This looks very suspicious. Very suspicious empty bookcase here. I'm going to kill her? XXX? Maybe, maybe, maybe it's not so bad. It's just your average chalkboard. Maybe they don't actually mean it. Maybe it's a joke. Maybe they're trying to prank. Bookmark one, page 78. <clears throat> Red of liquid, heat of flame, give a drop, come quite tame. What? What does this mean? T. Bookmark 2, page 121. Blossom green of sweet to GG. Add to red and heat up V. Bookmark 3, page 158. Give a drop to girl soon dead. Blossom drop will raise her head. Bookmark 4, page 249. Secret lab just over there. Right behind the case of bear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Secret lab. I knew it. Hit. What's this? Barometer predicts rain. Oh, fancy. Take the skull candle. Take the barometer. Take the chalkboard. Operate. It does kind of look like a clock, yeah. <laughs> Hit the barometer. Just go through the bookcase. Oh, yep, you just go through the bookcase. Okay, good. <laughs> you just walk through it. <laughs> In this room is where your aunt performed her experiments of the unknown. A room filled with ideas and dreams of mystery and terror. A glass test tube stands above a container which houses a candle. Cool computer. Cool crest. Cool tablet. Cool everything. Filer is empty. File cabinet looks new. White lab coat is covered with blood. Oh, gross. A letter from the Board of Education requesting that your aunt teach chemistry next fall at the local high school. She taped it up to the wall. Taped this up on the wall. You can even see the little piece of tape there. So I guess this is just indicating that the passage of time, like the relative amount of time that's passed since anybody that was in here because we don't have any backstory or any history whatsoever to our, this, this adventure and this says next fall at the high school implying that this letter was probably sent in the summer the spring maybe but now the house is this ruined and disheveled things are very suspicious here Plaque issued to your aunt by the National Witchcraft Association. Oh dear. Rewarding her for achieving excellence, excel, excellence in the field of magic. Yeah, I saw that too, Arrogant Logician. I had I had the date down there as 89 at first, but then when I started the game up, the title screen said 1990. So I don't know where Moby Games gets their information. They are the arbiter of truth, after all. Dead mouse in the cage. Dot matrix printer complete with perforated printer paper. It's possible I don't have the first version of the game. It's very possible. Computer is plugged into an outlet. Candles unlit. Test tube contains a red lick. Ooh, liquid of red. It's part of the, the clues. Um, what do we do here? There's so many different things. Open mouse cage. Oh! Oh, 
It looks as though one of your strange aunt's experiments was trapped within the file cabinet. Of course it was. The large snake rewards your rescue by turning your head into a pincushion with each strike to the head. Would you like to play again? This thing is enormous. How was that stuffed inside the file cabinet? This thing is gigantic. I love the just the aesthetic of this. This is so good. Everything is deep blue and black and mysterious and dark and spooky. And then the ghosts, the supernatural elements have color. It's very cool. I like it a lot. <laughs> I'll play again. I don't remember my last load. Like I don't remember my names of my save games. I need to start tracking this a little bit better. Let's I'm assuming that each save game is creating a new file in the game directory. So let me just open up the directory in Windows. I have a girls file. Room. Yeah, if we sort by date modified scared scared was my last save let me move this over here move that over there okay now i can see my saves as they're created scared back here let's go in here um let's reread this book here red of liquid heat of flame give a drop to become quite tame so i need to heat up the red liquid in the the test tube in the secret lab to tame the scorp the 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 arbok the cobra the snake Yeah, the Romantic Blue was made by the same person, Duke. Um, set in, like, the same setting. Part of the last half of Darkness expanded universe. Secret passage revealed. Okay, let's go in. Let's operate matches on the candle. Okay, now we've heated it up. Let's operate the dropper on that filled with red liquid and let's drop the red liquid to make tame the snake droppers empty open that and we perish okay. I thought that would work I thought it wrong load uh, C colon scared So we're on the right track here. We've got to operate, the, whoops, operate the match on the candle. So now we have warm red liquid. Uh, now we operate the dropper. So now we have warm magic red liquid in the dropper and we have to make something tame. I thought it'd be the snake, but I was wrong. inch of dust lays on the top of this computer computer is plugged into an outlet what does that mean why is plugged in quotes use the computer enter access code uh fart denied okay cup and blood Gotta find the access code. I'm trying to think if there's anything else to do in this room. It doesn't really look like it. We can't like take the lab coat. Can't take anything. 
file cabinet kills us if we open it. Can't take the, the red liquid. All right, well, let's just get on out of here. So red of liquid, heat of flame, give a drop to become quite tame. So some wild creature needs to have the drop of red applied to it. Okay, we got that. Blossom green of sweet GG, add to red and heat up thee. What's, I don't even know what that means. Give a drop to girl soon dead. Blossom drop will raise her head. Don't know what that means. Okay. 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 I'm going to kill her. Let's go this way. Cool garden. It is here where red, rare plants and trees bloom. The entire garden is filled with bushes, grass, and shrubs from exotic seeds centuries ago. <clears throat> Little fern. Cousin of the poinsettia family. The fountain of youth. I don't think it is. The rare African Judeo armo. Little peach tree. Penzoria fern. Ouch! And am I going to die? I might, I might be soft locked. <laughs> It's a poisonous Magon Magonazona thornbush. Better wash that cut fast. I think I'm soft locked. Operate. Wash my hands in the fountain. Okay. I think I'm soft locked. Um. Blossom of green. GG. None of these make me think gg like that book hit hmm. this seems to be a room of nothingness i'm sure one of these plants or perhaps the fountain is important but it seems to be a room of nothingness um, inside there's the ghost girls so they're still out the back door and upstairs that I haven't even been to yet. So before I really focus on trying to solve puzzles, I gotta first find the puzzles and fully explore the environment. <clears throat> so let's go up. This upstairs hallway provides access to four doors, of which behind each is unknown. Floorboards creak beneath your feet as you stand in decision of the door to be opened. Placed in the center of this closed door is the head of an animal of some sort. Oh, gross. Padlock, which is locked. Save. Up. Just go to the head door. This is probably a bad idea. Let's go in the door with the head. <laughs> Surely it's a good sign. <clears throat> the antique closet stands in the middle of this ghostly room, adding to its old English style decor. The walls are covered with paintings and pictures containing memories of your aunt and her friends. Oh, everything seems fine in here. This picture resembles a ghost? I guess it kind of does. A little spooky there. Probably one of your aunt's friends. Press leaf, silhouette. Bed looks very soft. Antique closet, I guarantee. I will perish the instant I open this. Let us open this. Uh. Okay, I didn't perish. This is probably worse. There's a dead girl inside this closet. Hit. Uh. Oh, never mind. Speak. Why are you dead? Speak. Hello? Go. Open the dead girl. <laughs> Take the dead girl. Operate dead girl. She's just dead. She's just dead, and we have no reaction or response. Just dead. There's a dead girl. Yes, there is. All right, let's sleep in the bed.
just uh, let's just close the closet and pretend that nothing is there okay okay everything's fine everything's fine everything's fine don't worry about it don't worry everything's fine everything's fine this bathroom contains a full-size shower stall in the basin with a chrome faucet the full moon casts its light through the open window onto the left side of the room creating an eerie effect on the walls Marble sink contains a faucet labeled cold. More cold water. Shower hasn't been used in years. But downstairs in the lab, there's the plaque. Makes me think not that much time has passed, but maybe I'm misconstruing it. Open. Uh, operate. Take a shower. Examine. Why can we open this? Hmm. Hit the glass. The drain? Can't look in the drain. Take the shower head? Oh, very mysterious. Very mysterious. <clears throat> Seems to be a lot of rooms with nothing in them. There's going to be a lot of rooms with literally nothing in them. The water won't shut off. Okay. Good. I can open and close the shower door, but that's it. All right, let's leave. Dead body, no big deal. go what's this lead a bedroom darkness darkness let's go to the bedroom this antique bed provides evidence that this room was probably habited by a female an antique mirror sits on a two drawer dresser located on the left side of the room strange paintings and pictures decorate the walls of family members unknown to you Oh, it was filthy. Maybe. Just another friend. You look in the mirror only to find you haven't any reflection. Mirror's probably just not working today. You hope. That's a bad sign. I would be a bit more nervous than this hero is. Open the drawer. <gasps> What's this? Take 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 the box <gasps> we got another dollar what is this locked box operate key on box doesn't unlock the box open the box box is locked i got two dollars maybe this is like progress through the game this this dollar system is very mysterious <laughs> Close. We open this drawer. We examine this drawer. Drawer is empty. Close. Open the mirror. Oh, oh, we opened. Okay. Opening the mirror opens the drawer. Uh, take. Take the picture. Take the bed. Take a nap. Hit. Hit the bed. Ooh! Okay, we broke the mirror. Mirror's cracked. Okay. Take shard of glass. Why did I just punch the mirror and break it? I guess I told the guy to, but why did he actually go through with it? <laughs> what? Continue to smash. Mm, mm, mm. Nothing happens. What? Walk into the mirror dimension. Open the mirror. Oh, not the drawer. What? Oh, highly mysterious. Highly mysterious. 
Um... Man, why can't I take a nap in the bed? I guess we just leave. <laughs> Got the box. And maybe we progress by punching the mirror. Maybe we've prevented the mirror from getting haunted later on. Maybe we've preemptively prevented a soft lock. Or maybe we're just soft locked. <laughs> Very distinct possibility at all times for games like this. Let's move on. This room is probably the darkest room in the house. It contains a strange painting located above the bed. Of which its lines are too hard to examine from this distance. The darkest room in the house. Too hard to see what the painting is. It's covered with cobwebs and dust. Oh, <gasps> Gigi flower. Gigi. Empty drawers, sleep for days. Um, Gigi flower. So I don't remember all the clues from the book. We have to do something with this Gigi flower. This is important. Okay, the pieces are starting to come into place here ever so slightly. Ever so slightly. Go to the painting. Examine the painting. Hit the painting. Hit the bed. Hit, hit the plate. <laughs> there probably is, Duke. It would not surprise me if that's the sort of thing you would do in some random adventure game. Unintuitive usage of verbs. Several empty drawers. Several empty drawers. Oh, there's clothes. Uh, hit. Take the painting. Take the dead GG plants. Take the take the bed. Speak. Reveal. Thine secrets to me, mystical painting on the wall. Redo from start. No, the words go on unnoticed. Nothing happened. Nord and Bert can't make heads or tails of it. <laughs> that game seems goofy. That game seems deranged. Maybe I'd like it. It's too hard to see what the painting is. It's covered with cobwebs and dust. I need like a rag to clean the painting. Maybe I just douse it with water? That seems unlikely. I think I need a rag of some sort to wipe the painting to get information from it um open the windows seems to be nothing i can do oh we can open the bottom drawers too well the bottom drawer can we open this bottom drawer does it have a hitbox can't open this oh maybe the key works maybe the key operate the key on the padlock <gasps> oh it's unlocked progress okay we've actually done something tangible let's go staircase leads up into darkness believed to be the attic footsteps imprinted within the dust on the steps of the stairs Save. Ah, tick. Oh, we got a dollar. Yeah, we got a dollar. Why is there a fireplace in the attic? That, 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 what? Okay. There's a fireplace in the attic, like a stone hearth fireplace in the attic of the house. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. The attic seems quite cozy, in which a burning fireplace creates sounds of crackling and sends its embers up into the sky. 
painting resembles a house from one of those horror movies. Kind of looks like this house. Solid stone fireplace makes this room warm and cozy. The door is closed. Operate bucket of water. Do we just douse the fire or what? Or we just consumed the water? I didn't. Where did I get this bucket? I didn't pick up a bucket. <laughs> I did not pick up a bucket, but now we have a bucket. I don't know if this put the fireplace out. It glitched my cursor ever so briefly, but we got a bucket. All right, well, let's, let's just pretend everything's fine. Rag. This bathroom contains a very large hot tub with a shelf above it and a basin on the left wall. Very large bathtubs do not belong in the attics of old-timey houses. This is too much weight. It will fall. The floor will rot. This will fall. Tub's filled with cold water, though. You can take a bath. Take a bath. Got the rag. Get the towel wet. Oh, look, look, look. Get the towel wet. Fill the can. Get a lot of water sources. A lot of water sources to continually refill the bucket. The water can, which I did not ever find. Oh, I got, I got another, another dollar. All right, let's get out of here. Fire is still raging. Uh, we have two different exits. <laughs> Take the hot tub, put it in the pants. Yes, that'd be very good. This room contains a coffin covered with dust and cobwebs in which a small stuffed animal sits on the coffin's lid. Strange paintings decor this room, showing just how strange your relatives were. They are so strange, we used the word strange twice in the sentence to illustrate just how strange they are. Very strange, very strange people doing strange things. Who is this? Probably one of your relatives. Don't worry, it's stuffed. Some sort of rodent, perhaps? Large wooden coffin rests on the table in the center of the room. You wonder if... Nah, there couldn't be. Oh, maybe? I wonder what? A vampire? Dracula? Is there, is there Dracula? Dracula? Save. Dracula. Open coffin. <laughs> it seems your curiosity's awoken the unknown within this coffin. It's a coffin lid cracks open. Strange odor fills the room as you watch in horror the next step in which this terror will reveal. So we have one chance, one opportunity to prevent our instant demise. So let us uh, use the little dropper with red liquid. Uh, it's empty. Okay. Take it. Speak. Please do not murder me. Words go unnoticed. <clears throat> go. I thought we only had like one turn to do something to prevent our death. But it looks like we have infinite turn. Hit. Looks like we have infinite time here. Operate. Firing. All right, let's just leave. As you move toward the door, the coffin lid slides off onto the floor. A huge zombie-like creature gets out and begins to move towards you. you. Your fear freezes you as he tears you apart. While your blood decorates his skin. Would you like to play again? 
I like the, I like the hands, the little zombie hands. <laughs> this this rules. Look at this mouth too. Play again. It was not the Dracula, it was a zombie, which is just as good. Just as good. Dracula. Alright, so we got my red red pipette back. Um I still haven't really found a lot to do, to try to do. Like, maybe there's something underneath the zombie if we can find some way to defeat the zombie. Let's just retreat. We've been in all four of these rooms. How about the back door now? There's still more to explore. Uh, go this way? No. Go this way? Go this way, this way, the path, here we go. This path splits into two different directions, both twisting around mysterious strange looking trees, leading into darkness. The night air here fills your senses with a unique mist that infiltrates your common sense predictability. What does that even mean? The night air here fills your senses with a unique mist that infiltrates your common sense and predictability? I don't understand that sentence. Okay. We've been infiltrated. <laughs> hey, Mr. Moratti, welcome. I'm sure lots of people have more than 100,000 channel points because I do nothing with them. <laughs> people have no reason to spend them. I'm sure lots of people have them. Save. Outside. Oh, <laughs> number go down. How how dare you people? You're lowering your number. Number must go up. You're making it go down. <laughs> Enjoy the frutals and the the flow. Um go. Well, let's look at things. There's nothing to look at. This is just a room of nothing. It's just a room of nothingness here. Nothing to look at, nothing to do, just a path. Okay, let's go. Like I can't even see where these different exits take me. I just have to try them. Okay, let's back in. Let's go right. Shack. This path leads straight into a quaint little shack up ahead. The trees around cast strange, eerie shadows on the path and shack. nothingness 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 it's all nothingness it's all nothingness let's go in Whoa! why is there a dark figure just hanging out in the shack a large dark figure stands here before you he stands holding an axe as though he was guarding the entrance his other arm is held straight out with his finger pointing in the direction you came why is there a dark figure brandishing an axe just chilling in this random shack let's look at him this guy looks angry. Dude, your teeth. Did he file his teeth into points? That cannot be good. That cannot be healthy. That can't be like, that'd be painful. Filing your teeth down so that they form a little triangle tip. Jagged teeth. Arr, vampire. I like his robe. Cool robe. I wish I had a robe like that. A little snuggy. Open. Hit him. <laughs> the dark figure seems unamused by your effort of destruction. As he plunges his hand into your chest and pulls out your heart, he raises it in the air as you take your last look of this world and begin to enter his... <laughs> Dude, this game rules. Okay, good. We died. Uh, we last say was outside. This game rules. 
Okay, don't punch the robed figure. Let's go let's go have a little chat with him. Speak. Hello. It ignores you, grows angry with your presence here. Speak. Put that axe down and let us talk. It ignores you. Name. Job. Avatar. Uh be gone. Away. What is your name? <laughs> Why is this text parser in here? This seems to have no bearing on anything. Yo. Uh, it does kind of open up the possibility that we just have to find exact phrases to type into the text parser on specific screens like encant magical spells or say specific things at him to cause him to react appropriately dude no let's operate him oh he kills me i wasn't trying to kill him or destruct him i was trying to operate him okay play again load uh, outside. Well, let's just put a pin on that idea for now, and let's move on this way. A lighted torch illuminates this twisted path leading through a creepy old fence beyond the hill. Crackle sounds from the torch echo throughout the trees as embers float up into the night sky. Crackle sounds. Nice little fence. Nice little fence. Uh, take, take torch. Take fence. <laughs> Entrance to Dark Souls too. There's gonna be a vortex of spook that we're just gonna jump into. Go. A person! A dog! The entrance gate into the cemetery is illuminated by an old caretaker's lantern. As he digs, his faithful dog stands, shivering, wailing in terror. A twisted tree sways and cracks as the wind rushes by it as branches. Gates rusted in place. You wonder what the old caretaker is digging up. Caretaker's dog stands whimpering and shaking with fear. Can we pet the dog? Uh, speak. Hello. Your words go unnoticed, sir. Dog? Are you real? Just take the lantern, I guess. <laughs> good very good face here why you try to take my lantern says an old caretaker standing before you as his dog continues to wail and shiver at his feet let's just gaze at him examine his eyes examine his teeth examine his shirt his coat his shovel he's wielding his shovel Examine his hair. Uh, speak. Hello. How? Huh? Speak up. What is your name? How? Huh? Speak up. Help. How? Huh? Speak up. Lantern. What? I can't hear a word you said. Sir? Dog. May I borrow the lantern? Huh? Speak up. What is your name? What is your quest? Now, I'm getting two different responses. I don't know if it's just randomly selecting between two different... potential responses or if it's recognizing key words in my sentence caps lock hello oh, speak up 
I don't think that counts as yelling. <laughs> what is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? Nope. Operate him. Let's just smack him. Just punch him. Nothing was damaged. Okay. Let's steal his shovel. The caretaker doesn't seem amused by your efforts of stealing his things. He pushes you into the hole and begins shoveling fresh soil into your grave as, he, as his laughter echoes throughout the sky. I'm just straight up murdered by this guy. Straight up, cold-blooded, murdered. Okay. Interesting. Well, we're starting to get the, the bounds of the game world figured out here. Because I don't think there's too many more places to go. Can I walk past him into here? Okay, we can just walk past him. Never mind. There's still more to explore. The eerie ambience from the strange sounds which echo throughout these trees send shivers up your back. Graves and headstones completely cover these grounds. Making your journey through this ghostly place more difficult with each step. Do we get funny little quips on the on the headstones? No funny little rhymes or limericks? Oh, missed opportunity. Seem to be a lot of rooms that are just simply traversal. Which is cool. Like I like it. I like to see the different room artwork different graphics but there's a lot of rooms with just nothing in them besides atmosphere yeah, imagine someone trying to take something from you so you bury them alive <laughs> absolutely ruthless absolutely ruthless let's just, just keep moving on this is the grave of your late aunt her presence prevails the air around you, giving her grave an eerie ambience about it. Now we're getting somewhere. Her headstone reads, Mrs. Hurst is gone and dead. She died asleep and in her bed. Her hair is there and will die too before the night is over and through. Her heir? It's not hair. It's not H-A-I-R. That's H-E-I-R. So we must be the heir. We must be our aunt's heir. Because we're here. And we will die too. Before the night is over and through. Firmly packed soil hides the unknown. We gotta get a shovel. We gotta, we gotta get that guy's shovel somehow. Exhume the grave. Aunt always said she wanted to be buried. Beneath... Buried underneath an old oak tree. Uh, just take the soil, maybe? Just grab it with our bare hands? Can't take that. Open the grave. Open the tree. Hit. Hmm. Okay. Go this way. Guest house. The guest house seems rather qu rather quiet tonight. The caretaker and his dog must be digging something up for dinner. Oh. Okay, there's nothing interesting here. Let's just go open go and steal from this chump a oh, candle the room is filled with the odor of a wet dog oh wet dog and fresh mud it's only obvious that the caretaker doesn't take as much pride in his home as he does in his holes <laughs> we take a lot of pride in our holes around here <laughs> looks like some kind of hick Maybe another one of your relatives Picture of your aunt working in her garden. 
dusty candle. The bed looks really dusty. You're tired. Not that tired. Everything's dusty. Take. We got the candle. Okay, uh, what? Okay. Okay, we got the candle. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's immediately light the candle. Nothing happened. Did I misclick? Okay. We have a lit candle in our pocket. Just walking around with a lit candle, live fire in our pocket. Good. Can we burn stuff now? This is going to be like Mystery House, where we have to have the lit candle in our possession so that we trip and fall and light the rug on fire. And then we have to have the pitcher of water because we'll have one turn to put the lit rug out. And then it'll reveal a secret key to the treasure. So I think we're all set up to solve the puzzle that I may or may not actually be <laughs> recreated here. So we gotta try burning everything now with this lit candle. We need his shovel somehow. His shovel is bent, by the way. Um, let's save here. Man. Can I take, if I try to take his lantern, it brings us to this. Why you try to take me lantern? Shovel. Give me the shovel. I take your lantern. May I pet your dog? Are you deaf? Give me the dog. There's no give command. Use the lit candle on him. Use the towel on him. Use the match on him. Use the box on him. Just walk away. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hit him. Hit the dog. Take the dog. What are you digging? <laughs> What's for dinner? No. Um, let's let's try burning things now. Try burning everything. So I think at this point we've kind of discovered most of the game world. I think. And so now we can start attempting to scrute some of the puzzles. I think. Got okay, like a cracked wall here. What was that? Okay, that's the rug. I tried to burn that, nothing happened. Um, this room leads to the the girls. If we go back in here, except they're gone. Extremely mysterious. Sure, a wizard. Let's go in here. Several children's outfits hang from this closet rod. This pair of children's shoes sit alone in the corner. Apparently, someone was trying to hide something by boarding up a section of the wall. Oh dear. I don't know about what we're going to find here. Shoes. Complete wardrobe. Shelf. Uh, give me the shoes. They're size five in children's. Give me the clothes. Give me the boards. It. 
We need like a hammer. Can I just take the boards? No. Can we just open the boards? Can we just go into the boards? No. Operate the boards? Hmm. So it seems like we need a hammer to pry these boards, pry the nails out. If we burn them, uh, operate. No. Match. Hmm. 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 I don't remember where these lead. It's back here with the poisonous plant, which I might be soft locked. And this leads to the lab. Yeah. Okay, let's reread this. So what do we need to drop to become quite tame? That's the first question. I think this is the first puzzle we should focus the efforts on. Red of liquid, heat of flame. Give a drop to become quite tame. Somewhere we have to drop this red liquid to tame something. Um, possibles, possibilities are the zombie. I tried the zombie. It didn't work. I guess I didn't try the dark figure in the, the spooky man shed. The caretaker. The cobra in the filing cabinet, but that didn't work. I can't really think of anything else. Uh, next page, blossom green of sweet GG, add to red and heat up the. So we found the GG plant in the upstairs bedroom, but it's dead. We have to revive the GG plant and then add it to the red and heat it up. So maybe this is actually part of the formula. Maybe the red liquid by itself doesn't do anything we have to add the GG plant to it first. Maybe these clues are out of order. Give a drop to girl soon dead. Oh yeah, there's a dead girl in the closet. I forgot about that. <laughs> Blossom drop will raise her head. Blossom drop will raise her head. So we have to get the GG. We gotta revive the GG plant, add it to the red liquid, heat it up, fill the pipette, drop it on the dead girl, and then we can communicate to her. So maybe all three of these are clues to the same puzzle. Except for this. This seems different. Give a drop to become quite tame. Hmm. GG plant. GG 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 plant GG 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 is it in here I think here this is the GG plant right there the dead plant once bloomed the rare GG flower. So perhaps we can just water it and it will be revived. Watering can's empty. No, okay. Perhaps we can use the towel on the painting. Oh! <laughs> a book inside a secret compartment behind the plane, the painting. That's not what I was expecting to happen, but to give me the book. The outside of this book looks real old. Open the book. Read the book. The book contains many spells. And Hocus Pocus nonsense. The second paragraph from the bottom contains some sort of riddle. Code for girl you must save. Mirror image of the grave. If I, I tried to operate the painting earlier and it said it was like too dusty, I think. 
Yeah, nothing happens. Okay, never mind. It's whatever interaction was there has now been deleted because we did the thing. It did say if we examined it. Yeah, when we first got here and examined the painting, it said it was too dusty to make anything out. So you have to wipe it down, and somehow that triggers it to move. I don't know the logic, Helical. <laughs> I was hoping to get a better look at the painting. I was only hoping to get a better look at the painting, but somehow the act of wiping it down with a towel caused it to move. But I couldn't physically grab it and move it myself. I had to wipe it with a towel. The mechanism is very unclear. Okay. Code for girl you must save. Mirror image. The grave. E V A R G. 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 How do I get back there? E V A R G. Operate the computer. E V A R G. Potions spoil, mixtures leak. Save the girl, our future's bleak. Girl so far and yet so near. Say these words to go over there. Habakas Ojika Misto. I guess the computer is talking to us? Notepad. Ha ba cas o je ka mi sto. Well, let's just say the words to go over there. Speak. Ha ba cas o je ka mi sto. Words go on unnoticed. Is that a spell to resurrect the girl? Uh, Evarg, potion spoil, mixers like save the girl, the future's but girl so far, yet so near. Say these words to go over there. Hmm, what does it mean? What does it mean? Mirror image of the grave. I'm going to kill her. Please don't. Let's go upstairs. Okay, dead body. <gasps> it's gone. Uh well, we're soft locked. We're soft locked. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we're soft locked. Oh, maybe we just speak the words here. Maybe we encant the spell. Habakas. Ojika. Misto. No. Words go unnoticed. Okay. Hmm. I don't want to say these words everywhere. I don't want to walk around just spouting these words everywhere we go. Where did she go though? Corpse. Hmm. Mirror, mirror. I don't know why, but uh, because the book says mirror image of the grave makes me think this mirror is significant somehow. I don't know what cracking this mirror did. We'll speak the words in front of the mirror. Haba kas ojika misto. Nothing. Hmm. We have a mysterious box I can't open yet. A pipette. What did the red liquid do? Red liquid makes something tame. So maybe now I need to figure out what needs to be made tame.
I'm not sure. A lot of rooms. Of oh, let's burn. Let's burn this. Silence is spoken. Nice little touch. Let's burn this. Go back to pyromania. Burn this. Rugs covered in dust. Burn this, burn everything, burn, 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 nothing, burn it all down, burn to the ground, burn to the ground, burn to the ground, <laughs> hmm, in here i've already forgotten i haven't done anything back here yet what do we need to make tame hmm hey samson welcome <laughs> burning down the house let's burn everything down uh sure duke yeah you can mention something you thought you saw earlier that might influence my thinking go ahead I like to have my thinking influenced. It's still confusing to navigate around this house. Like I'm still getting myself lost. Turned around. Spear. 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 Take. 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 And these spears have different descriptions. Operate. Hmm. Sword. Sword. What was this way? Oh, the haunted pantry, that's right. I I cannot conf cannot navigate where I would like to go. Back up. A room? Something important. I've been mentioned it as being important. Oh, I say a lot of things. Okay, well, let's re examine every room. I'm going to re examine briefly every single room. There's this mysterious drawer I was never able to open. That sticks out in my mind. The GG plant, that's mysterious as well. This rug, burn, burn, burn the rug. Nope. Go upstairs. Hot tub. Zombie. Little zamble, little zambi action. A barking dog in the distance. Start spraying my pipette everywhere I go. 
the hello dog very angry looking dog stands before you snarling and growling dog your movement startles the dog as he jumps and rips your arm off Blood rushes from your arm's sockets and pours onto the floor. You watch your last glimpse of life of a dog holding your arm in its mouth. Would you like to play again? You might be soft locked. I think certain key events. I think certain key events like around the world, the world state changes depending on how much money you've collected. And so something triggered this dog to appear there when he wasn't there before. I don't think I'm softlocked, no. I'm just saying that quite flippantly because of the era of game design here. This is my last save? No, 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 no. Girls was my last save. four dollars though i didn't save after getting the book spell book Let's go get the spell book again. It's very hard to navigate this house. Clock. Uh, this door. Wrong door. This door. So here, it's too hard to see what the painting is. It's covered with cobwebs and dust. We try to operate. Nothing happened. We have to operate to the towel on the painting. <laughs> uh, take. Examine. Open. Read. Girl is gone. <laughs> I walked right past it again. Oh dear. Very mysterious. Take take the take the leaf. Two of ducks. What was in here again? Just just nothingness. Closing in on it. Closing in. Closing in on it. What is this again? An animal of some sort. Maybe we make this animal tame? Can't take the dead Gigi plant. You just somehow revive this Gigi plant. That looks very soft. Silhouette. Picture of a ghost. This looks like it 
and contemporary mosaic. I have no idea either. <laughs> I'm, no idea. Go up. There's nothing here. Fireplace? Warm and cozy. Marble sink. A marble sink. Wow, that's that's fancy. That's very fancy. Hit ye rodent. Clock. Doesn't keep time anymore. Can we open this rug? Go back out the front door. Oh, maybe we can light this torch. No. Nope. House for sale. Two of the rooms are lit. The attic and I guess that's probably one of the upstairs bedrooms. I don't know, the perspective of this house is a little bit wonky. Fish. Everything covered in dust. Everything's covered in dust. This mysterious room, picture of a wizard. Everything's covered in dust. Fixture. Where did this lead? Seeing myself turned around yet again. Hmm. I'm I'm still thinking about the red drops too. Like this okay, this is suspicious. Walking onto this screen loads these dudes in separately. So there's a way to do something with these dudes. You can somehow interact with dudes. Dudes. Dropper's empty. I don't think that does anything. Dudes. Try and take the lantern. Now we can make him tame with the dropper. The dropper's empty. Burn him with a candle. Douse the water on him. Burn him with a match. Cast a spell. Take the shovel, get killed. Kind of looks like, kind of looks like, I don't know. Well, this is a very weird drawing of Gravekeeper. <laughs> very odd perspective there. Hit restore. Dudes.
Hello, sir. Okay, we, he allows us to leave. Oh, oh, we made him tame. All right, we made him tame. Figured it out. Puzzle solved. Was that what you were thinking? <laughs> Hooded figure lies in sleep as your view is unobstructed of the inside of this quaint little shack. All right. I used the red drop on this guy. <laughs> That's all I did. <laughs> Just dropped, dropped him. Bloop. A little bit of red liquid. Battle axe. The power of just brute forcing random ideas and things. Give me the axe. <laughs> Nothing happened. <clears throat> this guy is literally just in a room an empty room just standing there wielding an axe pointing menacingly at anybody who walks by what there's nothing here he's just he's just here in his room his little shack What? All right, we got the axe. Let's go. Let's go. Extremely mysterious game. Save. Axe. Into the closet. Operate. Axe. <clears throat> Passage walls are illuminated by a small lit torch at the end of this dungeon. Greek pillars decor this passageway, and large blocks of brick create this ancient hall of horror. Nothing's interesting. I hope this is a maze. I hope we have a maze here. <gasps> Dead girl lies on this slab, surrounded by deep crev... 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 Creviices, preventing your journey from continuing in that direction. Oh, she's blocking me? The creviices? Or the creviices are blocking me? Wake up. Oh, maybe, oh, we cast the spell here. Cast. I haven't gone and got the spell yet in this playthrough, so I don't know if I can actually do that. We've got to cast a spell here to go from here to there. A spell. Okay, so we use the computer to do backwards of... I can't think backwards. E V A R G. Okay. So now our character no let's read the book here. Let's Barking Dog. Oh, we might be dead. So I guess red of liquid, heat of flame, give a drop to become quite tame. I did not expect that to put the evil chaos demon to sleep. But that put the evil chaos demon to sleep. Blossom green of sweet GG. Add to red and heat up the. I still haven't done this. I was assuming it would make an animal tame too. Yeah. <laughs> that was my thought too. You're wrong. Blossom green of sweet GG. Add to red and heat up the. Like that must be the dead GG plants in the upstairs. Give a drop to girl soon dead. Blossom drop will raise her head. This seems to be like the second part of this of that clue. After we add the blot the GG to the red, then we make a new red with GG. A blossom drop. 
And then we can use that on a recently deceased girl to raise her head and maybe communicate with the dead. Secret lab just over there. Okay. Let's go in here. Speak the words of Habakas Ojika Misto. Okay. A path is formed. Somehow she's not interesting. Let's go. The girl awaits your rescue as an obvious unknown substance has kidnapped and placed her here for reasons unknown. Wait, she's dead. She's literally dead. Dead. Dead girl. A dead girl. A dead, dead girl. Awaits our rescue. So I guess she's not dead. The narrator is lying to us. Nothing interesting here. Just dead girl. I think we need the drop. Hit. Take. Open. Open her eyes. Open the mouth. Open the nose. Open the hair. Go to her. Go to woman. <laughs> Speak. Wake up. She can't hear you. Uh, revive. She can't hear you. Are you really dead or do you just not want to see me anymore? She can't hear you. Okay. Operate her. Okay. Hit. Operate. Axe. Uh, nothing happened. Oh, but we used the axe on her and just nothing happened. <laughs> okay. Use the axe on the box. So I still haven't opened this box. Still have not opened this box. And I think this is where we use the, the blossom drop to revive her. So I think we have to solve the rest of the puzzles. This seems like the end of the game here. We revivify her and win the game. So we have to solve the rest of the puzzles. Save. Um, search. I'll just search because we're searching for the rest of the game. If I go back, no dog. I haven't used this water anywhere either. I've been carrying water with me, but I haven't used it. I haven't used the candle anywhere, unless the candle's automatically being used. I used the key to open the door to the upstairs. I got the towel upstairs. I haven't opened this box. Surely there's a second key we must find. Find the watering can. That's a clue. Oh, dog. 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 I don't know how to get I don't know how to get past the dog. Uh let's see. <laughs> um Oh the girls are alive. I loaded my game in here and the girls are alive, but they didn't kill me, okay. I haven't done anything back here. Just your average post. The moonlight bounces off of this post. Interesting. Interesting. Smash the post with the axe. Smash the post with the axe. Throw the box in the water. Burn the post. I wonder if there's anything to do here. Can't take anything.
Hmm. Can't open any of these plants. Can't open the fountain. Hmm. I, I don't know. No dog. I guarantee if we go back in here, dog. We may be soft locked because of dog. We go back in there, do the girls reappear? No, the girls only appear when we load our game in that specific room. The dog only appears when we enter this room from a specific angle. Maybe we have to go murder the groundskeeper. Although I don't need his lantern. I have my own thing. I'm gonna do a preemptive kill. Kill him before he kills me. So we try to take the lantern. Why don't you take my lantern? Smash him with the axe. Oh, yep. Oh, oh. Baby, oh baby, oh baby, oh baby. We cut his head off. Oh baby, oh baby. We got his shovel. Oh baby, oh baby. Let's go. Just preemptive killing. Oh baby. Oh baby. Oh baby, oh baby. Dig up the grave. Open grave reveals a closed box. A bone. There is a single bone. <laughs> a single bone. One, one bone. One single bone. It's a bone. Now we can get past the dog. Okay. So... We murdered the groundskeeper after we attempted to steal his lantern. We murdered him with an axe. All he wanted to do was ask us why we wanted the lantern. Rather than answer him, we just simply killed him, cut his head clean off with one swipe. Stole his shovel. Didn't even take the lantern. We stole his shovel to dig up our aunt's grave. And now we have one bone, which we can now use to pa get past a wild rabid dog. So we killed a man. In cold blood. Who was simply trying to provide food for him and his dog. We killed him. All for the sake of obtaining one single bone to give to a dog dog seems very pleased with the bone you've granted him as he sits in the middle of the hall gnawing away your passage is completely unobstructed by this dog of terror can we give can we pet the dog now dog is busy gnawing on the bone n-a-w gnawing on the bone we murdered a man in cold blood all for the sake of getting past this dog murdered destroyed absolutely obliterated a man cut his head clean off uh, maybe we can use the shovel on the box take the bone save dog he would bury us alive for taking a shovel, but that didn't happen. That, that's a different timeline. We restored before that. <laughs> this is, we're metagaming the puzzle. It's kind of fun. Like, I, I think it's cool. Meta Metagaming puzzles like this. A lot of old adventure games do this. A lot of new adventure games do this. And it's just a fact of gaming. But <laughs> in the narrative of the game itself, our character is a cold-blooded killer who kills a man by cutting his head off for a shovel. All right. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> the pet the dog. So the outstanding mysteries. Uh, let's just try and move on from this act of senseless violence. I'm just going back and forth because I cannot navigate this house. Zombie is upstairs. I have a zombie upstairs. Maybe we need to do something to pacify the zombie. Um, I still haven't used the watering can. It's a clue. What if... Oh, what if... What if... What if, what if, what if, dump the watering can out. This is extremely silly, but what if? What if this is the fountain of youth and we need to fill the watering can specifically with this water? And now we can revive the Gigi plant. <laughs> What if? That'd be fantastic. Ah, oh, that didn't work. I feel like we need this GG plant somehow. I gotta figure out how to take this GG plant. Also the box. The mysterious box has not been opened. The box was one of the first items found and it has yet to be opened. What if we simply have to over water the plant? Maybe we need to provide water from every single source of water in the game to this GG plant. And once enough water has been provided to the plant, it will revive. I'm a little bit worried that I'm not getting any feedback for using this watering can anywhere. A little bit worried about that. Wait, this is the one I never opened. Oh no, that's the one I never opened. This painting resembles a house. It kind of looks like our house. Can we do something with this painting? Fireplace? I guess there's something upstairs that I'm <laughs> I commented on earlier and I'm missing because I, I I don't know though. What fire illuminates the room? Hmm. This is very mysterious. Very mysterious goings on here. Trying to think of what other water sources there are. Kitchen water? Kitchen water? Kitchen. How do I get to the bloody kitchen? Oh my god. This is the. Okay, we made it. 
This is the first water that I acquired. There we go. A little bit of kitchen water. A little bit of kitchen water. Complete waste of paint. Sheet covers the chair. Hmm, very mysterious. Very mysterious. Could sleep for days in this bed. This rug's made from heavy wool. This paint's almost dead. What if we need to water the other plant? Maybe I'm water. I double clicked. Okay. Ah! So we gotta use the. Gotta use the space bar to input. Dead girl's gone. Very soft bed, mosaic. Get more water. Use on this plant. I got I got score. Plant sure was thirsty. I got score for watering that plant. What? Hmm? Hmm? Huh? It's still almost dead, but I got I got score. Your memory fails you at the moment. You're almost sure another door is open here. Yeah, these doors are just opening and closing on their own. I don't care. What? What? Okay, we got water. Do it again? Uh, what is happening? Maybe we water this plant. The vase contains some dried sticks. Would you like some water? Water the sticks. Watering can's empty. No score. Still dried sticks. They're not even like wet sticks. Strongest of the prevailing presence of your late aunt surrounds your senses. That could be important. But like, I don't have any way of communicating with my late aunt. Speak. Hello, aunt. Words go unnoticed. I don't know what to do here. <laughs> Oh, the GG flower. Okay, we did it. We had to water it, leave, and come back. Very clever. Very clever. Very clever. Okay, I think we can cast the spell. I think we can do the magic. We may have all the pieces of the puzzle now. Go into the lab. Uh, let's save. GG. I'm going to kill her. We want to operate the GG plant, GG blossom, with the red liquid. Liquid turns green. Operate the dropper with the green. Let's go drop this on the dead girl. Formerly dead girl. Soon to be undead. Hello. Thank you. A girl takes the box from her inventory and opens it. Oh, 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 
Well, anyway, inside there lies your inheritance with a letter and a rose behind, beside it. It reads to my heir. I leave to you my fortune and home for the life you saved and your very own. Although it's a lot, a lot indeed. If you wish to spend it, I suggest you leave. Aunt Martha. The girl looks in horror as the plank vanishes. She quickly grabs your hand and pulls you through a dark stone doorway? Be sure to register to receive the last half of darkness too. Okay, stop the timer. What a, what a mysterious cliffhanger ending. Dude, that game ruled. <laughs> that game was so cool. <laughs> what a fun game. What a cool game. I really liked that. It was good. Thank goodness there are two more. There are 900. There are seven more Last Half of Darkness games. The story continues. Because we're going to go right into the second Last Half of Darkness. <laughs> We're going to go right into the second one. After I take a short break, that is. Let's go back there. Welcome to the stream, everybody. That was a really fun game. That was a really cool game. Had a lot of creative puzzles. Cool artwork. Cool atmosphere. I, I really liked that game. I'm happy to have finally played it. Look at this. Last Half of Darkness 2. Number 2. We must continue the story. So I'm going to take a quick break. Take a quick break. We'll come back and we'll launch directly into this one. Maybe this will be like a an ending? No, it won't. Surely it won't. Surely it won't. There's seven more games. I'll be right back. <laughs> 